Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 719. I've always said I don't want my Gmail and my social networks to collide, but with the release of a browser plugin called Reportive or Rapportive, I'm not really sure, I changed my mind. Reportive replaces the ads on the right side of your email with information about the person you're talking with. Take a look. You can see an image of the person, which can certainly help if you have a hard time remembering who someone is just from their name. You get bio information about who they are and where they work. It looks up the person's email address and pulls from social networking sites like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Flickr, and more. And and lastly, I adore that they included the ability to add a private note about the person only you can see. Once the plugin is installed, you'll have to log in to Gmail through the plugin, but your password is not stored with Reportive. I actually got a little giddy when I discovered my desktop Gmail app, Mailplane, just released an update to include Reportive support. I know, silly. Tiny things are always adorable. Tiny kittens, tiny puppies, tiny robots, tiny cars, and tiny computers are no exception. USmart has what they claim to be the world's smallest computer, and I don't doubt that claim. The screen is 4.8 inches. It's a resistive touch screen with an included stylus. Inside, we're looking at a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom Z530 CPU, one gig of RAM, and four gigabytes of storage. The keypad looks almost too tiny to be usable, but they say they'll sell an external touchpad and keyboard if you wanna use it that way. It'll cost $300. Just plain cute in a novelty, or would you be able to find a use for this in your life? Leave a comment at geekbrief.tv slash 719. When Panasonic released the Lumix G1, it was the very first micro four thirds camera. Now they're releasing the lightest micro four thirds camera with a digital viewfinder, the DMC G10. They also announced the DMC G2, which has a three inch LCD touchscreen that rotates 180 degrees side to side and tilts 270 degrees up and down so you can use it in whatever position the camera's in. You can focus and take photos by tapping on the touchscreen, which is certainly useful if you do have the camera at an odd angle. Both the G2 and G10 have a 12.1 megapixel live MOS sensor and they shoot 720p video. It's not tiny, but it is adorable. The University of Tokyo's JSK Robotic Laboratory has been building Kojiro, a humanoid robot that's made up of artificial bones, muscles, and tendons. It has a human-like spine structure and motors move cables in a way that mimics human movements. The goal with Kajiro is to make a robot that's more people-friendly, and they accomplish that by introducing lighter parts like plastic and brushless motors. It's more manageable than a robot made up of all metal, and perhaps not as scary to small children. The downside to building a robot like this is the amount of complicated programming it takes. Oh. Today's brief was brought to you by Squarespace. The guys at iotaambulance.org used my promo code geek at squarespace.com to build a website that's easy to maintain. Make sure you tweet me at Callie Lewis when you use the code and let me know what site you built. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.